Okay. All right, so everyone, welcome back to Brez of Efrat here at Shira David Bol Hashem. And today, Mitz Hashem, with a, with a lot of Siyat Adishmaya, we're going to continue uh, learning our lessons in Lakute Halachas. And today we're in Hilchas Tzitzis, Halacha Zayim. We're going to go back to Dalit, because again, when we, we're finishing up Hilchas Tzitzis now, and we just had a little... Uh, a little uh, issue with the uh, with Dalit, and uh, we didn't really we weren't ma'ayin in it, so we're going to be ma'ayin in it a little bit now uh, to help us really understand uh, with with a, again with Hakadosh Baruch Hu's great help. Okay, so yeah, so first of all, let's let's read Dalit. We'll start again. Ba'ayin Masha Kasafti Behilchas Peri of Arabia Halacha Vav. Okay. And we're gonna. Rav Nassim says you could take a look in Hilchas Peri of Rivia, right? The laws of procreation, right? Uh, in Halacha Vav six, Al Pi Inyan Hanoira Hazer Shall Taste with Hashchein. This idea, this awesome idea of always adding more neighbors and adding more people, and building the, the like the like Ellie said, the force calculation. Uh, which is the factorial numbers, right? And we come with this exponential stuff, right? It's all, all these nice, fancy words, right? I, I'm telling you, uh, did anyone ever know about what, what the force calculation is? I, I never knew. Baruch Hashem. It's amazing the things we learn. Baruch Hashem. Unbelievable. And there, through that, we can fulfill all of the different treaties, the brisais, that we have amongst, pertaining to all Jews. So where did this come from? This came from a Gemara in Saita. So I'm just going to, I mean, I brought in the Gemara, and we're going to read it in English so it goes nice and quick. All right? So the Gemara says like this. It's a Gemara in Saita. It's on Lamed, Zion, Amid, Aleph. It starts. Uh, it says like this. Tanu Rabbana. Right? Baruch Bechlal. There's a there are there are blessings bechlal. There are all like there are all inclusive blessings. Baruch bechlal in the klal. U baruch befrat, and then there are uni- singular blessings that go on each an individual. So there's like so to say brachas for klal yisrael in general, and then there's individual brachas. All right. Then the Gemara says oru bechlal oru befrat, and there's also the concept. You know everything, everything, everything. Hakadosh Baruch Hu makes, he makes uh, equal, right? And so, there's, if there's a bracha, there's also going to be a klal, and there's also a kla, a klala that's that's bechlal and a klal that's befrat. Okay. Now, the Nadi Gemara goes on to say, "Lil moedel lamed lishma velases." When we say that every morning in the Hava Sun, right? We say we say these beautiful words, "Lil moed ulalamed." Right? What does "lil moed" mean? To learn, to learn. Lilamid in order to teach, right? And, and again, like we said, everybody knows something and can always help somebody else out. No one should ever feel that I don't know enough that I can't help another Jew. We always know something more and anything we learn, we're supposed to always have in mind. When I learn it, I'm learning this so I can help others as well. Lilamid, ulilamid, okay? Now, then we say, lisht marvelasais. In order for me be able to to be for me able to 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 to, uh, to hold back against to do what I'm not supposed to do lishmar the losses and to do the things I'm supposed to do, right? In other words, you understand? In other words, there are mitzvahs I say there are there there are mitzvahs there there are the mitzvahs say, so I have to be shamar I have to watch them lishmar the losses and to do the same way we have Shabbos right? Shabbos we have zochar v'shamar right? So Zachar is all the positive commandments, the things we're supposed to do on Shabbos. Shamar is where we watch against the Lama Tes Malachas. Same idea, yeah, right? Like the concept? Okay. So now, now the Gemara says, Hare, so consequently, there are <coughs> Arba. So there are four. So now we have four, right? We established we have four now. Lishmar of Lilmar of Lama, Lishmar of So there are four. Okay, here we go. Now, when it says Arba, the Arba, Are Shmoina. Now you have Arba and Arba, you have Shmoina. How do you have Arba, the Arba? When I call this Baruch Hu, Maitre Rabbeinu, we accepted the Torah on Har Sinai, right? And then, which was, right? And then we also accept, we also heard the Torah again on Har Grizim and Har Evel, right? 
So in other words, we heard the four, we took on four, uh, uh, four uh, 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 brisais when it came at Mat and Tyra. And then we took on another four brisais at our, our Grizim and our Avel. Our Baba Abba Haresh minus, and now we have eight. Okay, right? We understand that, right? So we started out, we started out with, 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 with four. We come, now we come to eight. We good so far? Okay. Now the Gemara says, uh, Shmaina, uh, here we go. To learn the mitzvah. Okay, let's just read the note. Here we go. Thus, there are four covenants, two blessings and two curses associated with the commandment to learn each mitzvah. And four covenants associated with the commandment to teach each mitzvah, which makes a total of eight commandments. Okay, we got that? So far, right? Then we, we're going back to Dalit. Okay, so with this, I brought the Gemara in Saita, where this, where this really stems from, this idea of the, the, how many breaches that we all have, how many different uh, uh, co- uh, covenants that we, ha- that we have, okay? Shmaino, shmaino, arei, sheish, esrei. Now we have eight and eight, we have 16. And how do we get 16? So here we say, so the Gemara, he explains. The eight covenants and the another eight associ- uh, covenants associated with the commandments guard and to do makes a total of 16 covenants related to each mitzvah. Okay? And which mitzvah are these? All mitzvahs. Uh-huh. All mitzvahs. All mitzvahs. Every mitzvah has a pawn so far. We said it has, starts out with four. Then it was given over again in our Avel and our Grizim, right? Our Grizim, our Avel. And that was another time. So we took on another four. That was eight. But really, each eight is really we six. Four, four what? It's both covenants. Covenants. Yeah. Okay. covenants. I don't know how else you how else would you translate it? Covenants? Yeah. Is yeah. that the right? Yeah. yeah. Right? Responsibilities, maybe? Okay. Covenants. Maybe you could say covenants or responsibilities. <coughs> you took on another eight responsibilities, yeah. maybe. A union. Treaty. Treaty. Okay, <laughs> treaties. Okay, this is wonderful. Wow, look at all these nice words. Cinnamons. Okay. Okay, the came the Sinai. Likewise, when it came to our Sinai. When we got the when we got the when we got the uh, the, 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 the the Torah from Moshe Rabbeinu from our Kodesh Baruch Hu at our Sinai was given in gen- we had the general blessings and we had the and we had the general uh, and the general cur- curses. Our Kodesh Baruch Hu, it was it was Baruch Bechlal Baruch Befrat Oru uh, 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 Bechlal Oru Befrat. So that okay we have that. Now he says, now he goes on to Gemara, says, V'chein ba'arvis mayav. When he came to the place, when the plains of Mayav, when Moshe transmitted the commandments related to, the, to, to Klal Yisrael, they were given in the same manner, Shenemra, as it says, Ele divrei habris asher tziva Hashem es Moshe. So here you have it again, that's a, another time, right, when we came to the plains of Mayav, before we came into Eretz Yisrael, right? So again, Moshe Rabbeinu gave us the pep talk again. And we took on another, another a set of, of, of uh, covenants, treaties. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, El Moshe. Okay, let's see the next one. Here we go. So, okay, so Amr Rabbi Akiva, Rabbi Akiva, Amr Rabbi Akiva says, Klolis Bifratis Nemru Besinai. We had the Klal and the Prat, like we said, was mentioned on Har Sinai. Both the Klal and the Prat were mentioned on Sinai. Vinishnu Ba'ayal Moshe. And they were they were they were retaught again when it came in the oil mayet. Vinishtal shulub arvas mayev, and they and they were re- reiterated again by Moshe a third time in the plains of uh, in, in, in the plains of Mayev. So according to the Kanakama, uh, subscribes to the fact uh, uh, to the view of Rabbi Shmuel that the commandments told to Moshe in the tent uh, in the in, in the oil mayet were not separate. A, a separate set, but they were an ab- elaboration on those given at Har Sinai. Okay, so Rishmal says that they weren't a separate thing. It was just that Kodesh Baruch who explained it out, but the, it, it was shorthand, so to say, and Har Sinai was an explained it, it more. Okay, therefore, does not count a separate covenants for the tent of meeting. Rabbi Shimon, however, agrees with Rabbi Akiva that the commandments were given in their entirety in Har Sinai and reiterated in the tent of meeting, therefore lists uh, Har Sinai and, and the Ayomayit as two separate sets of covenants. So the Gemara is discussing over here, where did we come up with these, with these, uh, with these treaties? 
Where did they stem from? Did it come? Was 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 Har, Everyone agrees Har Sinai was one set. So then the other the question was: Was it the second set? Was that when Moshe Rabbeinu heard it in in the Oil Mayit, which is Amish the parish that we're in now, right? We just <laughs> this is where we're holding, right? Or or was it by by Har Evel Har Grizim, or was it by be, Eloine Mamre? But it was really it was there were three sets, three times. What? It must be Rabbi Shimon Bar Yechai. He doesn't mention anyone. All right, so you have three major mystics. Huh? You have three major mystics. Yeah. About this. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's amazing, right? It's an amazing concept. So the Gemara returns to the uh, interpreted uh, uh, citation of the Brisa. Ve'en lecha kol dava mitzvah mitzvah shekzuva b'tayra. You don't have any 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 single commandment written in the Torah. Shaloi nit nit. I can't, I can't, the lighting is terrible. Shaloi nechrisu alea arbo shmeinim brisais. So you don't have any, you don't have any mitzvah that doesn't have with it 48 covenants that were sealed on it. Fascinating, right? 48. So each one. 16, 30, right? 16, 32, 48. So 16. It starts out with four, which is eight, which is 16. So 16 times three is 40, right? Now, yeah. what? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, now, Rabbi Shimon ben Yehuda ish kafer uh, ako amar mishum Rabbi Shimon. He says in the name of Rabbi Shimon, "Ein lecha mitzvah mitzvah k'suba b'tayra shaloi nikhlesu alea arboyim u'shmei nebrisos shall sheish meoitz elef u'shleishim alofim v'chamesh meyas v'chamishim." Now you have six. Now he comes along to say. That you have now, there were six hundred and three thousand five hundred and fifty Jews people. and people at the time at Har Sinai mm-hmm. that accepted this. Mm-hmm. So now you're going to multiply <coughs> the six hundred three thousand five hundred and fifty times forty eight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what he says. Okay, and 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 now uh, 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 okay, and alt- uh, alternative uh, uh, understandings of Shimon's position. Ah, the Dibur of Shimon ben Yehuda, Ish Kafri Ako Amar of Shimon, Shaman Amar Rabbi Amar B'Shem of Shimon. He says in the name of Shimon. Okay, that what? Ain Ain Lecha Kol Mitzvah Mitzvah Shabbatayra Shalay Nichusu Alea Arboim Ushmeine Brisa Shal Sheish Meis Elav Ushloishes Alafim V'Chamish Meis V'Chamishim. So he, he's just he's just uh, he's re- reiterating what we said. So you have this this huge number. This is where Rabbi Nachman's taking this from. Mm-hmm. How these numbers grow exponentially like this? Because now you have six hundred three thousand five hundred fifty people making six forty eight different covenants each time. This happened. This happened three times. Mm-hmm. And multiply for six hundred thirteen. Well, yeah. Wow. Right. <laughs> Okay, so let's look now. Let's so now we saw that. So let's look inside in Dalit, Okay, this is Gemara. Gemara in in, in sight the Lamed Zion Amid Beis. It's it's a fascinating Gemara to, to go over just to see how, how important the, the lesson really is. It's unbelievable. Okay, Ki Ein Lecha Mitzvah Shalei Nichrusu Ale Arba Moshmeina Brisos Shall Baruch Bechlal Baruch Befrat. Like we just saw now. Yeah. Right, yeah, that, that, no, that's why, no, no, uh, 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 that's why I brought the Gemara in, so we see where it came from, okay? Lil Maida Lama Lishma Velasis. And that's the four that it starts with, like we say every day. It's so beautiful because we, we keep saying, And in, in, and that's in all the Hav Asylum, right? We say these, these words. And then we say, and that's what the Gemara learns out, how we learn out these treaties. Um, like we just learned, and so then we, we saw the Gemara, we did what the Rebbe said. We started, you know, it started on Amid Aleph, and then it, 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 but it was really the, 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 the meat of it is on, 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 on Amid Beis. Ache Mosku Sham, Shekol Echad Nisol, His Chayev, Al Atzme Mitzad Arvus, Ba'ad Sheish, Meyos, Alofim. Like we said, everyone's upon himself, he takes on the, 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 um, the Arvus, the, the, um, 
How would you like to translate Arva? Responsibility. Responsibility, good. He takes on the responsibility of 600,000 uh, people, but we said it was really 603,550, right? Alfe, So you have the myriads and myriads of brises when you add up, when you, add, when you do the calculation. So we said, we're basically, we're trying to get the understanding that there's so many, where did these, this idea come that there are such great, vast numbers? This is the source where it came from. And any time, so the, I mean, and this is the point that we really should take from this, that Reb Nassim brought in, in, in Hilchah's period of Rivia, this concept, that how can we actually accomplish all these treaties? By bringing in one more Jew, helping one Jew. If we help one Jew come back, we bring back one Jew, we can we can accomplish all of these breezes. Unbelievable. Or add one Jew. Yeah. He had one Jew, have another Jew. Yeah, 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 the same thing. Yeah, okay. No, but he, there he's talking about really to, to bring one closer. But of course, it's in Ilkhaz Berry of Rivia to have another, of course, of course. So that way there'll be an aspect of our neighbor, a good neighbor, El Akibotz HaKadosh, to bring him into the shul. To bring him into the minyan, to bring him into Klal Yisrael. So he's also keeping the, the, he's also keeping the mitzvahs, and he's adding to these numbers. What, what, what is this saying here? Hmm? What, what is this saying here? Oh, okay. So I, I we'll, I'll fill you in. I'll, f- I'll, fill, I'll fill you Okay, we'll fill you in. We were talking about this concept of every time a Jew is added into the minion, we just, we just think that one other guy came. But really, we, we, a, we saw the calculation of each time you add another Jew. I get his car, he gets my car. Be more than that. Yeah, no, more than that. More than that. We saw the concept of 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 the of the factorial, factorial uh, calculation. Yeah, that's what it is. Each right. one gets a star of the other, and vice versa. No, but we, but you build these great big numbers, okay. right? Each two, right? We said, right? You want, you want to you want to go over the numbers? We start out with one, then we have two, then we have three, we have nine, four, we have twenty-four. Uh, two times three is six. Yeah. Times four is twenty-four. Times five is one hundred twenty. Uh, times six is seven hundred twenty. Times seven is five. Five thousand. Five and then forty thousand three hundred twenty. Then times nine is about four hundred fifty thousand. Then times ten is four point five million. Right. So we were learning this concept, Shaka. He said so. Now. We were learning this concept that when 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 we have unity amongst Klal Yisrael, we outnumber all people in the entire world. Our unity, because we we we're mitzdarev one to another. We, add, we, we are joined one to another, and then we become exponential. You understand the concept? And it was like he was just doing. Each one of us, when we because we, we're building on each one of us. Each one builds. Where, where, where we, we, we learned the concept when it says, where Yaakov Avinu, Yardel Mitzrayim, the Shivim Nefesh. Yaakov Avinu went down to Egypt with, with 70 people, but they were one Nefesh. You see the concept? Yeah. But it says by Asaf, Asaf had Sheish Nefashos. Sheish yeah. Nefashos, plural. Because the, when it comes to the nations of the world, there is only, there is only, there, each man is for their own. No one is looking out for anyone else. When it comes to Kla Yisrael, when we are mitzdarif one to another, so then we can start to build these big, big numbers. Okay. So that's what we're talking well, about. Like, what? Yeah, no, I'm saying, like, what is this talking about here? Like, where we bring another Jew in and all that stuff. So we bring in another Jew, so then we, we make our numbers that much more powerful. Yeah. We become that much more powerful. We, we look at it, the Yetzirah makes us believe. So we brought in one more Jew. What's the big deal? What's the big deal? So one more Jew came into shul. One more Jew is part of the thing. So, okay, big deal. But it's a very big deal. Because now I can fulfill all of these treaties that I'm supposed to uh, that I'm supposed to fulfill by me bringing in somebody else because now he helps me with these numbers. It's much bigger than we can ever imagine. You went from nine to ten. It was a couple hundred thousand to three million, right? You bring in another one. It's just, just one more person. And each one of those has 
And this comes this comes from Sefer Yitzira. Uh, Sasha put into the group. If you, I don't know if you saw, he put in the Wikipedia oh, the from Wikipedia where it came from. It quotes Sefer Yitzira, and it's oh, unbelievable where these concept of the factorial numbers come from. It's fascinating, right? So Rabbi Nachman took that and he put, he combined it together with the Gemara with the different treaties, and that's where the lesson came from. Okay. So now you can you can so we had whatever those number whatever those brisas were at that time, but now when we have so many Jews and we add one more in, that's the point. When there's so many and you add one more, that number becomes so much greater. It becomes so much greater. Okay, so that's the point. The the says all this comes through the mitzvah of tzitzis. Again, the whole idea of tzitzis is we're bringing Jews together. We learned the concept the uh, shaka the other day that when you're at home and you put on your your talis katan, right? You put on your tzitzis in the morning. So that's you uh, preparing yourself so that way you're you'll be worthy to join the community, when you come to shul, and then you could now be mitzvahif to them. And we could start building these numbers in our minyan. Somebody doesn't have the CC. No, 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 no. I'm just kidding. No, it's a kind of, again, we're learning the beauty of when you put on your tzitzit in the morning, what are you really doing? You know, a lot of people think, what do I have to wear this? The Torah says, if I have a four-cornered garment, I have to wear tzitzit. But I'm not going to wear a four-cornered garment, so what do I need a tzitzit for? Right? Right? And that's what people say. People, what? I understand. So now we're understanding. So when I put on it, right? That's the, that, that's the point. That's the idea of bringing back those that were pushed off. by right? And that's why I said before to add someone, those that were pushed off. But you were right. And if you have one more child, that's the same thing. You'll, you'll, if the child goes to the right, and that's the idea that we have four chutim, right? We start out with four strings, and we double them over, and then we have eight, right? And each one of the strings has to be twisted, and the, and we learned in the Gemara that you can't. That the minimum of twisting would be two. Right, you can have more actually, but we we every time all the tzitzis are are actually two, all right, and then that's in Archaim Simen Yeral. If you want to look it up on Sif Aleph, Valkin Heim Shisha Asa, and then you get sixteen. Kavavai ba Kavonis Mizeh, and he brings it down from the Pri Chaim in Shar Tzitzis. The Chol Zeh Bechinas Abrisos. All of this is connected to the forty the, to the to the idea of the sixteen treaties. Right, you have 16, so we started, each one is 16, 16 and 16, right? We had 16, we have 16 where at Har Sinai, right? We have 16 at, at, at our Grizim, our Abel, then we have 16 by, by Eloine Mamre, or you want to say it was in the Ayomaya, but either way, there are three sets of 16, and there's your 48. That's how you get, that's how you get that. Um, okay. Valken Heim Shisha Asar. That's according to the to the to the to the different uh, treaties, like we said, or the covenants. Right. So what does it mean, Baruch Bechlal, Baruch Befrat? So so we 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 have the idea that 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 a person could take on. He, 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 there, there, there are the mitzvahs that are that are klolius, that go for the entire community, right? And then there are mitzvahs that pertain specifically to me. Baruch bechlal, baruch befrat. And then we said, lil moider lamed lishma velasei sereikan arba. So now you have another four brises shall uh, that that were commanded to learn the arba Then there were four treaties. That were, were, were commanded, Lilmai to teach, right? Lilmai to Lami, right? Four I have to learn and then I have to teach. Harek Khan Shmaina, so now I have eight, right? We have eight, which were the eight because we have the, the tree, the bris of the Lil, uh, of the Lilmai to Lami. And Shmaina, we have another eight, Bri says, we have another eight treaties, Lilmai to Lami, Lishma, 
Oshmina, right? Brisa Shalishma Velazi. Hare Shesh Esra. So now I have I have sixteen. Now all of these all of these briefs, all of these treaties were given over to us on Har Grizim, the Khain Bisinai, also on Har Sinai, and then these treaties were also by Ba Ismaya. All right, I read Lanu, so we have all together three times Shisha also three times we have three times sixteen. So there with us the Sakha call we have over here is what is forty eight. The holes there from this Khajbin, Marumas the Mitzvah Tzitzis is all connected to the Mitzvahs of Tzitzis. Shu Bekinis Kibbutz Nidacha Mayarba Khan place Aritz, like we said that we keep said that we say every morning when we in the in the in the in the Brach of Ahavasilam, we say Vavien Lashom, you have a converse, I'm trying to bring back all of those Jews. Tais for Shrenim. Kibakol echod me at tzitzis me marumas. Because in all of the, in each and every one of the tzitzes is is, uh, is hinted to this cheshbon of what bechinas abrisos and now so betchila heim arba that started out with originally four. So in other words, the tzitzes started out with four. The brisos started out with four as well, right? Because we had lil might baruch bechlal baruch befrat, right? Aru bechlal aru befrat. That's four. Then we said lil might ululamit lish mavelases, and then we got eight. The same way in the tzitzis, we start out with four, we fold them over, and then we get eight. Right? Harik, mm-hmm. what? Well, you guys think of it as the Arba Kanfot. You start with the four Kanfot, where everything is spread out. They yeah. The pair of the Perut, and then they come and then they start. And you bring them together. You bring the pair together. That's what the, yeah, exactly. Harik, Kan, Shmaiden, and you have eight. Bechines, Kaflis, Arba, Chutin, Nasin, Shmaiden, when you double. The tits is over like we just meant, like you just mentioned. So then I would have eight in total. So now we have uh, Shmona Ushmona. So we have eight and eight. Hare Sheish Esrei. Then I have sixteen. Bechinas Shazira Sachutin. When I when I twist the strings together, Nasin Shisha Also. Then I get sixteen, and that's how I get the sixteen. So now as I start out with four, and then I then I build and I get eight. Because I folded them over and I got eight, and then I have twisted so sixteen. So, <coughs> so the same way, <coughs> the treaties are uh, of the Baruch Bichlal, Baruch Befrat, Ara Bichlal, Ara Befrat, Lil Ma'alame, Lishma Velases. So then I can, I can build up myself sixteen over there, and then they have the sixteen. And now you see the connection of tzitzis together with the with the different brisas. Does that make sense so far? Mm-hmm. It's a little complicated, but I'm, I'm trying to break it down. It's a little esoteric. It's a little, but 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 really, it is and it's not because he's showing you how the, these big numbers really fit into to our tzitzis. The gam tzitzis who mishuloshin bekama bechinas, and also tzitzis are are mishulish in, in, in many many aspects. Sheyushlish. So we said that what the, the tzitzis has to be, you have to have their three, their uh, the thirds, right? So one third should be the the, the knots and the and the uh, the, the wines. Right, and the two thirds should be hanging down, right? So the length of the the length of the tzitzis should be three, in in a three two. You have one. You have to be at least one third should be the knots and the thing, and then you have two thirds long should be. It could be longer, but it should be at least two thirds. Okay. V'chein b'chol chulya shehu shalish krichos. In each one of the in each one of the sections, you have at least three uh, three um, um, uh, uh, what do you call it uh, t- uh, wines. The kain tzrichin litlam b'sayish etz boys, and you have to hang them. You have to have at least three etz boys, three fingers length of of of, of the tzitzis. Ki kol zehu bechinas ma'asham rabbeinu zal. Sham shekol elu hashesh esrei brisais nishnu besinai v'chein ba'arvas mayav, and we said and we said b'har gris and b'har evil nimsa bar mushmain the brisais I'll call mitzvah mitzvah. So again, he's reiterating it that we have forty eight treaties, forty eight covenants on each one of the mitzvahs. Nimsa shesh esrei brisais hanal heim mishulashim. These three. Treaties are mishulish, the three times that the Torah was taught to us, right? Our Sinai, our Avel, our Gris, right? And 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 Eilei Mayav, 
Right, the zebachin is much a tzitzis same shisha also, and that's why the tzitzis is sixteen. Shame mishulosh and become a bechinas. It's mishulosh in many different ways, and therefore you see the the, the, the beautiful connection that tzitzis you have tzitzis in order to the to the brisus brisus from the Torah, and we said that, don't forget when we isam oisla yuschatim is kol mitzvah Hashem. So when I see them, I have to remember all of these brisus that we're learning. Of of when of, of what what I have it, with, it, within each and every one of the six hundred thirteen mitzvahs, so it's it's a fascinating number. Is, what? Uh, what to say something, David? Yeah. Please. He's, he's talking about the tefilut, and he's talking about the shilush. Uh, 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 you have to read tefilus also. That's what I was going The tariyag is what? The tariyag is three, and then yeah. kimel. It's three. Okay. <laughs> also cute. That's a beautiful kid. Very nice. That's why Tzitzis comes up and it equals up to 16. Because, because we had 600,000 Jews. Shekosov, Bekavonais, Kinege Tariag, as 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 Chazal taught us in in the Gemara Menachos and Mem Gimel Amid Beis, Ki Chol Zehu Inyan Hanal Shel Harvest. This is all the responsibility that we take upon for each and every Jew. Shemosku Sham Shekol Echad Mi Yisrael Is Chayiv Baalofim Veruvayz Brisayz BeMispa Tariyag Pamim Sheish. We how many treaties do we have? We have. We have the treaties of of uh, of the of the of the Valpayim uh, Veribayis Brisayis, right? That that are that are the Mitzvah Taryag, right? The the six hundred thirteen Pa'amim Sheish Meis Elif Ushleishes Alafim V'Chamesh Meis V'Chamishim. So you take six hundred thirteen, multiply that by six hundred thousand three hundred and five hundred fifty people. That's how many Brisayis you have. And then you have to double it another 48 times. Because of the original? Yeah. Like we said, <laughs> double it again. So again, Based for our, for our lesson here in Sitzis, we got it a little bit understanding. When we get up to Mitz Hashem in Hilchas Peri River, we'll see this again, and it'll really blow it up. It'll be amazing. It'll be amazing. The Chol Zei Yavshelot says, and all this I can't, I can't uh, fulfill. Ki Em Al Yedei Tais V'Shchenim. Unless I add more neighbors, I add more people. Kedayshim Shchein Bechinas Kibutz Nidachim. That's the idea of of bringing in Kibutz Nidachim. Bringing in those that were pushed off, that feel pushed off. Shazen Nasa Yudeya Tzitzis HaKadoshim, we can do that using the Tzitzis. Ba'al Kein Heim Tariyag Kenegeg Tariyag Mitzvahs. And therefore there are 613 Kenegeg, the 613 Mitzvahs. Kenegeg Sheish Meyas Elef, Mi Yisrael Oshleishem Alof M'Vechamesh Meyas V'Chamishim. This is Kenegeg, I don't know, it's like hints, like, I don't know. What? It says these are, these are 3,550. You can also say 550 is like, it's like 10. And then there's a 3. So it's also like the... the yeah, 10. you drop the numbers, it comes to 613. Yeah. If you drop the zeros. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, yeah. <coughs> it's, <coughs> yeah. Kishleishas alofim v'chamesh meyers v'chamishim oilim b'derech klal yud gimel. It comes to Yud Gimel with tough Reish Elef Hey Mechinus tough Reish Skum Akol Oile Tari. Like you said, if you drop the if you drop the zeros from the tar from the six hundred and three thousand five hundred and fifteen, you drop all the things, so you'll come back to six hundred thirteen thousand. Six hundred thirteen. Kitar Yek Mitzvahs Sheheim Klal Tari because Kitar Yek Mitzvahs is Klal of all the Tari. That in, that's all inclusive of the Torah. Right, all the mitzvahs is tariyeg mitzvahs, six hundred thirteen. Hey, nafshes yisrael, and that's the idea of the the klal nafshes yisrael. They're at six hundred and thirteen klal nefoshes she yisrael. 
Shekula mishuroshim b'tayra ki adua, and each one is 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 is, is rooted in the Torah. The cholze kolom a mitzvah tzitzis shayla tariyeg, and all that comes from the mitzvah of tzitzis, which also comes up to the six hundred thirteen. All these beautiful concepts that we learned. Because it's all inclusive from all of the brises. So again, we started out with Baruch Bechlal, Baruch Befrat. Ara Bechlal, Ara Befrat. And then we said, and we said that we have Lil Maidu Lulami, Lishma Velasis. And we did that system three times, where in Har Sinai, and then Har Evel, and Har, Har Grizim. And then we did it again, Moshe Rabbeinu taught it to us again, uh, in Be'ele in, Maya, when, we, when the plains of Maya, so we have that, that's, that's the 48. And again, we were 613,515,000 uh, Jews, times, times the 613,000, times 48. So we see how exponential this, this number is. Who knows? <laughs> in the billions. What? In the billions. Yeah, it's an, it's, it's an exponential number. Shenichvolim arba v'arba shmeina v'shmeina mishuloshim v'oilim tayek ad shekula mikol alofim rivais rivais brisais we have myriads and myriads and myriads and myriads, like you said, of the of these different treaties. And how can we actually fulfill all of these by adding in, bringing in more Jews, helping Jews? Shaka, look, you're doing that, right? You work at Eish Torah, right? <clears throat> so you help bring you back another Jew. So don't your job is very important. Any time you bring back one more Jew, you're fulfilling all of these treaties. Fascinating. What is good? Shehu bechinetz kibetz nidachim. This is the idea of bringing back those Jews that were pushed off. And we said, why do Jews feel pushed off? Because they don't believe in chiddush ayla. Jews believe they don't believe that I'm a new person today. I'm new. I can change. They think I did this and this and this, so I'm I'm I'm, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. But when we understand and we teach that that concept. We're mamish new people. So it doesn't matter what you did. You did what you did. But now you're another person. Now you can come back. And using that, telling that to anybody can give them a, a hope. Imamish gives people hope. Imamish gives people It doesn't matter what you did. You're a new person right now. It doesn't matter what happened before. You, 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 you'll, you'll go back and you'll fix it, okay? But now you... Take advantage of what we have right now. This is the, you see, it was one mitzvah, just like one person with the one mitzvah, basically everyone's prayer, whatever. Mm-hmm. It's like there's so many several things, and they all come together, you know, with the mitzvah. The best thing you can, the world can be re- recreated like Yeshua. Recreate Yeshua, but with, with one more person. In, in one instant. With like, one you know, instant, you know, exactly. You know, Nidachim me'arba kanfei zor, says, Zorichin ha'idei mitzvah tzitzis, all through the mitzvah tzitzis. Baruch Hashem, we finished now. Uh, we we went we did it in a, in a little backwards order, but Baruch Hashem, we finished now Hilchas Tzitzis, and we understand the importance of Tzitzis, right? We understand the importance of 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 how how when we put on our Tzitzis every morning to remind us that we have a Tachlis, right? We have a Tachlis, right? We learned that. Remember that Sasha, right? The Tzitzis teach me to have a Tchelis is Tachlis, that has the purpose of my life. And we have to remember that every time. Even if you don't have the tchelis, but we understand that the, t- the whole concept of the t- tzitzis is the psil tchelis. Tchelis is tachlis. And we just re- should remember that every time we put it on in the morning. And what's my tachlis? To join me, to make me a worthy person in order for me, but by, by me taking on my tachlis, I'm a worthy person to join, to be mitztarif, to my neighbor, in shul, and my neighbors would starve to the next, and that's how we can build these exponential numbers. And then we should, so we know we have all of these different treaties. How can we fulfill these treaties by bringing in one more Jew? Adding in one more Jew, because when we have so many Jews, and we add one more, like, like David said, it's like almost the world's cre- recreated yesh mayayin. We overpower the entire world with achlas. And that's why there's so much opposition for our achlas, but in Mitzvah Shem, we should always know, like we learned, Esther Malka said, Leif Kenais is Kol Ayudim, and that's how we were successful. We should work on that also, everyone. Shkoyach, thank you very much.